This is Mark Manhart with Calcium Therapy. I'm glad to be back with you. We're going to talk uh, about some things that have come up recently, uh, especially uh, this anaerobic bacteria that is uh, a lot of what we do, <clears throat> and the treatment for it is uh, osteoendocystic therapy. And we're talking about an infection that's here right between these front teeth that develops here and stays forever and uh, <clears throat> ruins on the whole mouth. We see it on x-rays like these. Like this is an infection. If you see that real dark area between the teeth, and this we treated seven times and uh, checked out all the teeth to see whether this was alive, that was alive, yeah, this one was alive, and there's a filling there, and there's a crown there. Well, <clears throat> this is where we started, uh, started right here. And after those treatments, if this right there, that dark area was nothing that we didn't see or something, then what is this here? That's healthy bone between those teeth. Well, <clears throat> this uh, technique or this discovery, you could very easily say, uh, we see it on x-rays. We don't pay any attention to it. Uh, because we see it all the time, you know. If you're seeing something all the time, almost every patient, well, it's okay. <clears throat> we see it, we miss it, and it's almost an intentional uh, a thing, uh, intentional, indiscriminate. You know, this happens to all kinds of people. <clears throat> disinterest, intentional, indiscriminate, disinterested. Well, we began to realize there was something going on here, terrific, and uh, we started treating it, and we came up with this protocol that we call the calcium uh, method of endo <clears throat> osteoendocystic therapy. Now, this is important because the people who see it are dentists. The people who see it are hygienists. The people who see it are patients. But for a long history here of disinterested interest, it's almost an intentional thing. Well, you've got to, uh, you know, that's just not uh, very smart. And just before I started this today, I was on my computer looking up some things, and I ran across a, a lecture by, uh, I think it was a physician, but it could have been a dentist, uh, like continuing education, you know, we get those on the other and I was interested because it was about anaerobic bacteria. Now, we've known from the late 70s, early 80s, that we're talking about an anaerobic bacteria that is huge. You see that? It is huge. It's the size of a large almond. And it's been there for 47 years or 26 years. If you had that happening here, like there, in your hand, and you go to the physician and they say, oh, that's too bad, Mark. Uh, it probably hurts. No, it doesn't hurt. No. Well, uh, gosh, uh, uh, how long has it been there? Oh, I don't know, Doc. It, it about uh, 32 years, I think. 32 years? And it doesn't hurt? And it's like a hole there? 
What do you think? I think cancer. Now, if this infection is that large and it's been there for 32 years, are we talking about cal uh, cancer? No. It's anaerobic bacteria. And nowadays, when you find this on a person, we tell them this is probably your best day of your life because we have found it, we can control it, we can eliminate it. Well, as I listen to this uh, anaerobic uh, talk on anaerobic bacteria, it included all kinds of them. Uh, where they are, what kind they are, the symptoms that they're there, the side effects, the data, your, your, the anaerobic bacteria, what are the names of them, and there's 17 different kinds. It's just information like crazy. Not one single word was said about this anaerobic bacteria and that it occurs in the bone between the upper centrals, and it's there for years. Not a word about calcium therapy. Not a word about this. You got two uh, teeth that are separating, not bilaterally, but unilaterally. Not a word. Then there was one little comment in that, I don't know how long it was, 20 minutes or more, about it happens in the gut. Because it's obvious, and you know, the whole lecture is, it happens here, 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 and there, and there, and here, and there, 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 and there. And it, hits, it happens in the gut. That's where these anaerobic bacteria accumulate to colonize. That was the closest thing they ever gave. This brilliant gentleman giving this lecture, just smarter than heck. And uh, whatever the discussion was, and whatever you talk about these anaerobic bacteria, the places in the body that they mostly accumulate and colonize are the gut and the mouth. In the mouth. Now, it's like one of those things, this doesn't make sense, but when you really look at it, it makes all kinds of sense because anaerobic bacteria, what does that mean? The bacteria hates oxygen hates oxygen, doesn't want to be anywhere near it. Two places that it occurs. One area in the mouth, one area in the gut. Because in those two places, when you get something that's this deep into the bone, there isn't much oxygen there. And when it gets this deep in the gut, around those organs of the lower gut, there is no oxygen there, so anaerobic bacteria don't like that. Okay. I have to tell you again about the surgeon, brilliant surgeon, the best we've probably ever had in Omaha or will ever have. We would send patients to him who had this infection, and we would say, please do some surgery and take that out of there and get rid of it and everything. We did that for 12 years, back in the 70s, the 80s. And finally, he said, Mark, I'm not going to do this anymore for you. I'm not going to do it because I've seen it, and I've seen it long enough. And what happens is the infection comes back because if I don't get Every cell of that anaerobic bacteria, it recolonizes and comes back. So I'm not going to do that because I could take out all of the teeth on that beautiful person and that infection would still be there. I know that, he says. 
Well, here we, when he says that to me, and I think, oh, it comes back. What is going on here? Well, it's very obvious when you see dentures and you make dentures for people, the area that is the most problematic area if you take out all the teeth and put implants and uh, dentures in, the most problematic area is right here in the bone under that denture. Well, we realized that and we started treating people who had uh, no teeth. And it's so easy to, it's just falling, falling off a log or falling out of a tree. What you do, you treat it with a little calcium and you put it under the denture and you do that in other different ways with other different appliances. If hygienists, I mean, if uh, implantologists wanted their implants to work better, they would know instantly, do it with these calcium materials. But what is those words? What are those words? Intentional, indiscriminate, disinterest. That's what we got going on here. And it's going on over and over with people. When we get a hold of this infection, and when we, under, the, the dentist and the lecturer or physician, when we learn these things about anaerobic bacteria, this isn't terrible when we find it, even if it kills one or both of those central teeth anymore. It isn't terrible. It's the best thing to happen in your, the history of your mouth. What kind of evidence do we have on this? This is what people ask all the time. It's just like, why doesn't that work? Well, have you ever tried it? Have you ever used it? No, 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 I haven't used it. No, no, no. Well, use it for a week, and you'll see that it works like crazy. So what's, what's proof of this? I'll tell you what's proof of it. Hundreds of people with thousands of treatment, people from almost every continent on the earth, have used it or being used, it's, they're using it right now because they send these materials so that they can do their work at home. It's like this up here. It was took some intense treatment, uh, well, there, intense treatment right in the office. But what happened? What did, how did we get to this where it healed? I don't know, six treatments over six months or something like that. They did most of the treatment right at home over the next 10 months. Very simple treatments. And that's the evidence. See for yourself before you get into this it's it's a prison that the mind gets in. You're, it's like getting into a prison because it's intentional. It's indiscriminate. And it's, oh, well, oh, well, uh, disinterested in this. Well, we're getting into things that are connected with virus. And boy, is that interesting. Man, that is just, it's exciting to even think of the, the, not the remote possibility, but the very likely possibility that this can help in solving problems with virus. We've been doing it for 40 years on aphylis ulcers. It's a virus. Virus all work the same. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for your time and your interest. Mark Manhart with Calcium Therapy.